Hello, peoples of the interwebs. Hello. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, so um, today is the 30th, I believe, of April, which means Beltane. So, well, Beltane tomorrow, basically, but I'm going to be celebrating a lot today. I. Unfortunately, I'm very busy tomorrow. Stupid school and all kinds of stuff. But anyway, right now I'm making an oatmeal cake thing. Not sure how it's going to turn out. I actually have never tried oatmeal before. Hopefully it's good. It, it smells really good. Uh, but, um, yeah, I've never made it. I found it online and I'm like, okay, I should try this. Uh, you know what, I'll, I'll even put the recipe in. Because it's really, really short, I'll put it in the description in case you want to make it too. In case it ends up good. Hopefully it does. But you basically need oatmeal and butter and baking soda and brown sugar and sour cream. So I've already added quite a few of those things in there. Why is it so yellow? Oh yeah, butter. Um, next is... Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, looks like half a cup of brown sugar. So let's add half a cup of brown sugar. I just bought most of these ingredients because... We don't have this stuff at my house. I mean, I don't know. Usually we have brown sugar, but I don't know. I'm actually I'm gonna I'm gonna do all of the mixing together stuff without the camera because I it's hard to do with one hand, obviously. But I'll show you what it looks like as a dough, which is what it's supposed to look like anyway. So see you in a bit. Okay, so here we got exactly what they were telling me to do, which was put it in like a big circle on a cookie sheet. And now it just looks like a giant cookie. But this is my dough and I hope I did it right. And I mean it kind of looks like puke, but it smells like really good. So I'm hoping that's a good sign. I got my oven preheated to 350 and my directions say 20 minutes. Okay. So I'm just going to put it in the oven for 20 minutes. Hope this works out. Otherwise, it'll be. I'll learn from it. <laughs> I am a total wuss. And even though the pan's not hot, I'm gonna put it on these gloves. I'm a wuss. Okay. Yeah. In there. Set this for 20 minutes. Pressing buttons. Okay. Now we're good. Now I just have to wait and oh I should probably clean up. I made quite the royal mess here. Actually. Lots of wiping crap on my pants. I wonder what this tastes like. Tastes like brown sugar. There's a reason for that. <laughs> um but yeah, I'd say that was a look at this poor brown sugar. <laughs> uh yeah, I'm just gonna wait. I mean, you guys don't have to wait because you have the privilege of watching a video afterwards, so that's nice. I hope this turns out well or else I'll be kind of embarrassed. But yeah, see you soon. Guys, guys, look, it's expanding. It looks like a large cookie. A really large cookie. Huh. Maybe I should have piled it more in the middle. I don't know. But look how cookie-ish it is. It's so funny. And this is my very large oatmeal cookie. <laughs> uh, I haven't tried it yet. It has to cool down and stuff. It's probably good. It just, it's really flat. Next time, for anyone in the future, it did expand a lot. But it did it horizontally. And they told me to put it on a baking, like a, a sheet like this. Which I think was a bad idea. I think if you have the choice, put it in one of those or one of those which was I was about to do that but it's just like definitely put it on a baking sheet and I'm like okay I will and that was probably not the right thing to do but it looks moist and airy um but yeah large cookie definitely next time definitely make a note to put it in an enclosed more enclosed area than this <laughs> Yeah, very big cookie. But it'll probably still taste good. I don't know. It smells delicious. 
I'm going to wait for it to cool down and then I can cut it and stuff. Probably cut off the ends because those are obviously burnt, but yummy. Alright, so while we're waiting for that oatmeal cookie to uh, cool down, I thought I'd show you my Beltane altar. Though it's not that impressive and it's unfortunate, but you know, it's what I got. Um, so we, I don't know why I'm down here. We got our usual quarters that I usually have on my altar, which are water, earth, air, fire. Got this dragon. And uh, this is an offering stone, and I have an offering stone over there and over there. Um, there's my brand new beautiful flower candle holder in the center. And the pretty little August lady on the side. I have this like little, almost like a representation of a bonfire type of thing with my circle of friendship around a tea light. And I thought that was a cute idea, so I thought I'd do that. Got a picture of Belle back there, but... Uh, and then some acorns and shit. And my new little cauldron-esque type thing. My usual goddess and god sides. Um, I'm also trying to grow some lavender. Don't know how that'll go, but I mean, I got some seedlings. See how cute they are? Uh, so yeah, that's what's going on in my altar area. So, yep. Behold my cake. It's not a cake. It's a pile of mush, but it is really good mush. If that makes it any better. It's really sweet and yummy. So, I just sort of eat it like it's like it's just oatmeal. <laughs> like I, I just gonna like sort of do this and just fork it up, you know? Like that. Well, it's really good. If only it cooked right. Some of it's way too crispy and then the rest is like not even cooked. That's all good. It is really good. I bet it would be a really nice ice cream topping. You know? That's the sweetness. If I had ice cream, I'd try it. Do I have ice cream? Hmm. Hmm. I don't like mint chocolate chip. Hmm. I could have sworn we had something, but... I guess not. Mm, that's too bad. But, what ifs? I can eat my mush. Hmm, maybe if I can, maybe I can kind of, if I do this, There, now it's cake. So, yeah! <laughs> yeah, next time, definitely not use this stupid cookie sheet. Uh huh. These are the remains from. Yeah. So, yeah. That didn't quite work out, but I can still definitely use it. I mean, it's definitely still good. And I can still offer it to the outside. So, yeah. Hi, guys. I have to be quiet because it's really late. Because for some reason, I'm cleaning my room at freaking 12 o'clock at night. I start getting productive around ridiculous hours. I wanted to show you guys my enormous pile of laundry I just picked up. Yep. Spring cleaning, everyone. Spring cleaning. Yay. Good night. Hey, guys. Um, so, I just... I'm sorry, I look kind of awful right now. I just took a nap because I was really tired. Um... But right now it is May 1st. It's nighttime now <laughs> because I already went through my whole entirely very busy day. Um, but I want to talk to you guys about a little bit about uh, what I did today because it was really wonderful. Um, mainly I did school and play rehearsal, but uh, in between school and play rehearsal, I had a little bit of time. So I went to. Uh, there's this little path, like a horse path type of thing, where people bring horses and crap, um, behind our school. So, I decided to go there, and it was just, like, really pretty and wonderful. Um, there's this little pond type thing there, 
Um, I saw like a couple turtles and a frog and they were so cute. Uh, but it was just a really nice place to walk and get in touch with any sort of nature and stuff. So um, it was really great. It's like this little hikey place. Um, but beautiful place. So pretty. Uh, and just Ugh, so wonderful. So that's what I did for my sort of daytime Beltane thing that I wanted to do. I was gonna do a ritual, but I just did not have time. Like, ever. At all. Oh god. No time. Sorry, I just ran out of battery. <laughs> um, but I also scattered some of that oat cake thingy um, outside for animals, birds, and such, so, yeah, that's what else I did. I didn't do too much, because I've been so busy, but I wanted to do something, so that's what I did. And, um, so, that, because it is quite late, it's pretty much, it's all over, uh, Beltane's done now, and it was a good first Beltane, I think. Next year I'd like to be a little bit more formal about it, but... <laughs> Whatever. Um, and I hope that everyone's Beltane was really awesome. And have a nice week. Blessed be.